Kurama and Naruto together. <clears throat> so this is a pretty cool illustration I found. I don't know if it's a fan art or if it's like an original Naruto art, but we'll give it a go. Full credit to, if it's a fan art, to whoever drew it first, so let's go. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with Naruto, because he's in the front, okay? So we're in a kind of a three-quarter pose. We can see like a little bit of a skinny eye just on the other side of his head, right? But we'll start with the big eye. So center point of my page is about here. We'll come down over to the left. His head is like down here. So we'll go diagonal up and over and down, just like a kind of curved line like that. And then we got that little sort of spike that Naruto characters have here. And then you can like darken up the top eyelid a little bit, okay? Bottom eyelid line, just coming down across here, up to there. Then the iris, so he's looking at Kurama over to the right hand side, so the iris will be in the right hand side. Curves around just into that back corner of his eye there. And then the pupil will be here, looking that way. So we can't see much in terms of eyelid lines or anything. So we can just see like an eyebrow just here, a tick just going that way. It goes underneath the headband. All right, and you'd add like another line just that you can color in. So then his nose just curves down here. Like so. And you've got this sort of letter L sort of shape at the bottom, right? So it's kind of like a letter L here with a curve on top. And then the nostril, just there. So the other eye is just under in here, right? So we've got the eyebrow, just goes like that way, the other eyebrow. And then the eye comes around like so. And again, we have like another little spike on the end. And you just darken up that top eyelid. And then the bottom eyelid just comes down into there. Very thin eye, you can barely see it. And then his iris just curves down here on the right hand side. And the pupil just in there. All right. So he's got a big smile, right? So just underneath the nose here, we're going to start with his smiling mouth, right? So it goes up, down, and it kind of ends underneath, right underneath his pupil there. So big smile. Like so. And then the chin. Just here. So because we're in three quarter pose, right? Center line for his head is like here. So we can see a little bit of cheek on this side and jaw on this side. <clears throat> so coming from the chin, we can just do the jaw. Curves up like so, right? And on this side, it's slightly different. So it goes in, out like this, just around the nose, around for his cheek. And then it kind of sticks out for the brow, it goes underneath his headband. So the headband comes across the top of the head, just this curved line, like so. And then we have his sideburn that just comes down here, All right? And the sideburn becomes the ear, so the ear sticks out where the sideburn stops at the headband, All right? So the ear just curves around like this. And then he has those cheek lines. Those sort of whiskers that he has, three of them. Top one is normally longer and it gets sort of gradually shorter as you go down. And then ear lines inside. So the easiest way to start these ear lines is just like a letter J sort of thing like that. And if you want, you can add a bit more detail like so. 
Okay, so front of the headband kind of bumps this way. We got the metal plate in the middle. Right, so the metal plate will be like just in here. Curves around and then we have a hair spike that cuts off the corner. We have the spiral for the leaf symbol. Just a spiral here with the tail. And then we have a beak sticking out like this. Then he's got like some metal studs just here. Maybe a line just for the top of this metal here. So then we can see just another hair spike there. And then the headband comes down around the back here, kind of bumps once or twice. And we've got these fabric lines on this. So then the rest of his hair. So we just have these hair spikes that stick out the back of his head. Typical Naruto, big sort of triangle spikes that just go the whole way around. Like that. And then we have some that come down the back of his neck. So his neck could be here. And then we've got some hair spikes here. Like so. So he's got that tall collar on. So it just bumps around this way. And then we'll bring it down. And then kind of bumping around for his shoulder down here. And the front just goes out for his chest there. Now the reason I didn't go the whole way is because he's got like a ninja scroll thing on his shoulder, okay? But we'll just do his sort of zipper section here. We might have like a little zipper thing there and then like some lines that zigzag. Like so. And then these lines go down a bit further on his collar. So then that ninja scroll. So we've got like this circle, right? So with a spiral inside. So we could do a circle here. If you if you have a stencil or a compass that will help you do circles, feel free to use it. Like or something circular just to trace around. You know? And then we have these brown scroll type things here. Right, and then the shoulder goes off that way. We have another one on this side. It's just like a rectangle. Is there buttons or something on it? I don't know. Here, we're gonna add some buttons, but I'm not sure. And then shoulder creases and stuff here. Right, so we've got a spiral in here as well, and it's kind of it's a bit more complicated than normal. So we got like an edge line that say goes around the whole thing. It's not the same as this spiral. And then inside here, so we got like another, it's like a double spiral. It joins there. So we got to start with a spiral, but you got to, it's like raised up. So we've got to like go around it again. Like that kind of thing. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, oh yeah, headband sort of stuff comes down this way. You know, it's those uh, pieces of fabric that sort of hang down his head. Okay, Kurama. So, they're looking at one another, right? So the, his eye is like up here somewhere. So we got like his eye in this space. It's kind of big. It's bigger than Naruto's eye. And he's frowning. 
right? So the frown goes pretty long, spike that way. So he's looking at Naruto out of the corner of his eye. So it's like big sort of eye area there. And he's got like a slit for an eye there. And we can actually see his tear duct in there. So this big frown goes to a spike here and then like eventually joins his ear at the top of his head. So like it goes behind sort of Naruto's head this way and becomes like the black of his ear. And joins this, right? So this is all like dark black in here. And you might have like some lines just coming around his eye inside. And then we got like this frown there and then his big ear can be furry every now and then like so and then the ear on the other side just comes down this way and joins his forehead on this side Right, you could have like frown line just here as well. The bottom of his ear would be like here, little textures and things just to make him look a little bit sort of furry and textured and stuff. Okay, so big teeth and snout. So see just like his nose going down this way, it kind of bumps, right? And the eye just in there, kind of black. Some like frowning wrinkles. His nose is like a little dog's nose, just like a little triangle at the front. Nostril in here. And the snout comes down to his big dark lips. Okay, so top of the mouth comes across. And then it kind of bumps up this way, like a big smile, like a big Joker sort of smile. Joker from Batman, I mean. And it's a it's a black lip, right? So it has another edge line. Just there. And the bottom of it comes out, say, here somewhere. And goes in behind like a tooth or something. And then they just go this way like that and then his chin goes that way and his neck and shoulder goes off there and then teeth right so okay we we'll start up this end so we can see like his gum he's got like a pink sort of gum here going that way right and then we got like all these big teeth. There's kind of gaps in between, right? So we'll have to color black. And then we got like a big fang hanging down here. So if you draw over his lip, you know, you'd erase that line or color over. And then the fang on this side hangs down here. And then we have a row of top teeth here. Remember, if I go too fast, just hit the pause button. All right. And then the bottom teeth just in here. And you can kind of see some of his gum or something. Like there. And then a tooth here. A tooth on the bottom. Some gum in between. Okay, and I'll just color dark inside the mouth. Okay, and then just the back of his head and then his whiskers. So he's quite furry back here, so hair spikes. Just coming down his neck. 
And he does have like some whiskers on his face, kind of like Naruto, but like longer. That kind of thing. And that's it. That's how to draw Naruto and Kurama. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.